Well, more recently, these new papers that have, uh, that have been released through the Annals of Internal Medicine are very interesting and um, highlight some interesting recommendations on frequency of screening and age of diagnosis. For Mayo, uh, the current practice is to continue with our recommendations of annual screening mammography beginning age 40, which does closely align with the American Cancer Society. Within the breast practice, we do recommend at Mayo Clinic the three-tiered approach, which includes breast self-exam, which is what a woman is encouraged to do and identify if there's any abnormalities on her breast and become familiar with her breast. So if there is a change, she would be advised to bring this to the attention of her doctor. The other part of this uh, triad is breast, clinical breast exam, which is performed by a healthcare provider. And we recommend that be performed annually in women beginning in their 40s. And then finally, screening mammography, which um, at Mayo, the current practice is to screen annually beginning age 40. And, and I bring that to highlight because many women diagnosed with breast cancer um, may have found their own cancer, which was a result of a breast self-exam. And this could be a woman in her 30s or even 40s. Similarly, a screening mammogram can detect an abnormality in a woman in her 40s who went on to get a biopsy and learned that it was an invasive breast cancer. And there are many stories about women who have found their cancers early as a result of screening, even in their young age. I think that we do need more time to analyze the, the papers and the outcomes of these papers. In the meantime, women are encouraged to meet with their healthcare provider to ask questions about screening mammography because indeed there are some risks as well as benefits and some limitations of screening mammography. And I think if a, a, a woman is concerned about what screening mammograms are, are if are they appropriate for her care, she should go and talk to her doctor and learn what's right for her based on her individual risks, but also um, understand what screening mammography is all about. There will be a lot of new data that's come out of these, these articles that are published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, and it will take some time to analyze the results and see what's right, uh, what, what information we can gain from these papers to determine what's right for our practice. Um, in the meantime, I think it's important for healthcare providers to feel comfortable discussing some of the risks and benefits of screening mammography as well as the limitations. Similarly for patients, I think if they have concerns about if a mammogram is appropriate for them at a certain age or the frequency of screening, should talk to their healthcare provider to see what's right for them.